I was born by the river in a little town, but oh, just like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know change gonna come. I go to the movies, and then I go downtown. Somebody keep telling me, don't come around. It's been a long, long time coming that I know change gonna come. I go to my brother and I say brother help me please oh that he winds up knocking me back down I couldn't last for long, but now I think I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been a long Long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Hi, Bruce. Chris Campbell, thank you so much for asking me to moderate your Unity discussion a few weeks ago and to send something back to you about my experience. Uh, I really loved it. Um, I felt like I made uh, four new friends in a very quick period of time. I moderated a room uh, that had four other participants. Um, interestingly, they were all women. Two were women of color, one a second generation immigrant, one an African American. And we had some really positive and great discussions about two topics in particular that I brought up. One was um, systemic racism in this country and the thought that, uh, uh, or not the thought, but the fact that uh, white peoples have been using uh, people of color uh, to climb to a higher station for 400 years and why opportunities uh, that they uh, leveraged and took advantage of still aren't available for every person of color. The other conversation we had, which uh, proved, proved to be very thought provoking was this idea that uh, people who, who protest, whether through taking a knee or Black Lives Matter marches or using their celebrity to make statements are somehow told to shut up uh, by too many people in our society, that that's not the right way to protest, which is filled with irony and error. But uh, in the end, it was, um, uh, like I said, a really, not fun, but it was a really positive experience. I think when we all left it, though, we wish that there had been more people with dis dis uh, viewpoints others than ours, so that we could try to meet and experience um, what it was like to uh, find uh, middle ground or civil discourse with someone who has completely different views. Um, perhaps that'll happen next time. Anyway, thank you again for this opportunity, Bruce. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing many more of your discussions. Thanks a lot. Hi, everyone. Bruce, I wanted to drop a line about my experience as a facilitator during the Unity Conference. First of all, thank you so much for that opportunity. It was a great experience. We had a group that crossed gender lines. We had multiple races. We had people from different generations. And it was so awesome to hear perspectives from multiple groups. What we did was look at a meme that said, 
There are black people saying, stop killing us. And there are people saying, but. So the question was, what happens after the but? And we agreed that it stirs emotions, sadness, anger. But we wanted to know what happens after the but. And we talked about how we could harness those emotions and that energy and turn it into some type of action to at least question what is prompting anyone to say but when a group of people is hurting and saying stop killing us. That sparked a lot of discussion and a lot of uh, understanding that to move forward, we have to see what's the root cause of some of these uh, actions that others are taking. So that actually segued into how do we take that action and how do we determine what those root causes are? And the only way we agreed that we could do that was understanding the perspective of others and trying to um, at least hear and see things from their viewpoint. That would spark multiple conversations and move us into at least continuing to dialogue and have, if there is discourse, have it be civil and an actual conversation. So again, thank you so much for the opportunity. And I think this is really the start of something great as we move forward in this country and address these problems that we're, we're having. Take care. Hi, Bruce. I wanted to say thank you for inviting me to the Unity Summit. It was one of the best experiences I've had in recent history. We have been locked down for a long time. And as the mom of three young children, there are a lot of stressors in my daily life. Watching the daily news, you hear a lot about division. There's so much anger. There's so much frustration. And if I'm honest, helplessness. There's a feeling of helplessness that I sort of seeps into my life and I, I keep fighting it. I read, I try to stay informed, I reach out to people. But that invitation, um, I knew I knew it was going to be good. Um, I've been following you for many years and I'm so glad we worked together. Um, just your spirit and the way you, you bring the positive out of whatever situation there is. But I did not realize that having those conversations with people who are nothing like I am, um, other than that we are all human and we're all struggling to understand our present circumstances, it was this time when you, when you mention unity, you think about that is exactly the opposite of what's happening. And I thought, yes, this makes sense, but how do you do it? How do you do it? And that conversation with Chris Campbell and the way he led it and moderated it and all the folks that joined in with their perspectives, it was, it was heartwarming. But it made me think. Um, there was quite a lot that I had to figure out for myself. I am not white. I am not black. But at the same time in this country, I have a place. Uh, I think like many people, I felt that I don't know what that place is. And to know that there are still people out there who want to have an honest discourse, who wanted to just understand where somebody else was coming from and take the time to listen. I must say it was one of the best hours I've spent in recent history and I'm thankful for it. I would join you anytime again. I encourage anyone else to do it as well because the folks that you brought together were very diverse and not only in terms of where we were, but different ages, different professions, different upbringings. It was wonderful and um, it did. It made me feel the love, so I thank you. I will join you anytime you're having another conversation. I hope that more people pitch in. It was a good time and I appreciate it. Hi, this is Tamitha Brown and I was a participant in the Unity Virtual Summit. It was a great opportunity to meet people from across the United States, from different backgrounds and different cultures and come together and discuss some of the issues that were plaguing, that are plaguing the United States right now. What we all agreed upon was that we all want to communicate and understand each other better. 
We want a better tomorrow for ourselves and for our families. We want to look out for each other. We want to get past preconceived notions. And we want to listen, to understand, and not listen to respond. We want to speak in such a way that others love to listen. And we want to listen in such a way others love to speak to us. We want to be held accountable for our actions. We want to lead with love. And we want to cast a vision of love and hope for the future. So, Bruce, thank you so much for inviting me to participate. I look forward to our next session. Hi, Bruce. This is Aubrey. And uh, I'm just trying to have a follow-up for you. Um, one of the things that I remember uh, from our last session was the uh, you had uh, earlier in the session before it started actually uh, mentioned uh, the um, golden rule and uh, we got into a pretty good discussion about uh, the fact that uh, we could probably use the golden rule with some of the people who are trying to uh, uh, Enter um, act with, and uh, uh, that might uh, help in a lot of ways. I think. Uh, good uh, to see you last week, uh, Sunday, and uh, uh, look forward to the next time. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michael Galloway, and I'm going to share my experience in the virtual Unity Summit that took place back on September 12th. Um, I had a great time at the Virtual Unity Summit. It was a great experience. And as we pushed this dialogue ahead to talk about racial inequalities and social injustices. And um, it was just a really good uh, event put on by Bruce Sampson. And we were able to engage virtually. And um, we had some discussions as a large group. But we broke out into separate breakout sessions, which was awesome. My um, breakout session was led by Kelly Nelson, and also we had, um, who I learned to be my classmate, Julie Langston Huff. We both graduated from both Lucent in 1985, and then also Brad Crandall. Brad Crandall was also a member of our breakout group, and it was awesome. Everybody had a great discussion. Um, the breakout group, we did have three white people and one African-American, which was myself, and it was awesome. I, I met friends and all of them. They understood my perspective. They were encouraging. Some of them um, actually have dealt with the struggle, have, have, have been in the struggle, should I say, and, and are, are, are active and in, in engaged in their community and fighting for equality for all people. So that was encouraging to see and to have some great discussions, some things that happened to each of us. We had some independent interpretation of things that happened to each other and we were able to get back with a larger group and have some discussions. And out of that, we are very encouraged and we feel that we will be having another one of these sessions. Bruce is going to plan that. So I look forward to it growing even bigger, getting more people involved. Obviously, I'm, I'm sharing it with people that I know. So we look forward to having our next uh, virtual Unity Summit. And I had a great experience, and I, I really would say if you didn't, you weren't able to get involved in this one, definitely take advantage of it next time and get involved and have a larger group and have more perspective. And it, can, it can only help, and we go back to our communities and do our best to, to stay in the struggle and keep fighting for equality for everybody. Thank you this afternoon. Again, I'm Mike Galloway. Y'all take care. Hi, my name is Kelly. I attended the Unity Summit because I want to learn more about how racism is embedded in my own life. Uh, I may think that I am progressive and uh, have worked toward ending racism throughout my adult life, but the last several months of events have driven home to me that I have not done enough, that I don't fully understand all of the issues, and I'm not an expert on racism by training or experience, and so the Unity Summit offered an opportunity to talk with people uh, who are more directly impacted by racism so that I can understand what I can do differently. I also attended the summit because as I've, as I've been uh, trying to elevate my own understanding and learning and words like um, 
uh, white fragility and privilege uh, that it might initially be threatening to me are terms and concepts I want to understand better and to not be afraid of. So thank you, Bruce, and your team for putting together the Unity Summit. It was a safe place to have conversations about how to have those hard conversations that I've been struggling with uh, with family and friends. I look forward to the next one. Greetings, Unity crew. Uh, this is Brad. I just want to do a quick short video and uh, first of all, thank uh, Kelly for inviting me to the conference last time and Bruce for hosting and thanks to everybody who showed up and made it uh, an incredible event. Um, uh, there's been a lot that I've thought about in the last couple of weeks based on that last conversation and I'm looking forward to lots of conversations to come. Uh, when I think about unity, um, I think about unity as being a celebration of all of the things that are different about all of us. Uh, it would be a rather boring conversation and a boring life if we all showed up and we all had the same size and shape and color and thought the same thoughts and acted the same way. So I, I think that our diversity is, is what makes uh, this human race so special and interesting and I think that unity is about realizing that we're all part of you know this one big consciousness experiment and we're all just um, reflecting different facets of, of all that is so uh, I look forward to many more conversations with everyone thank you for having me thank you Bruce thanks everyone have a great day mm -hmm.